Hi everybody, my name is Amy Deacon and I'm a zoologist at the University of the West Indies in the Department of Life Sciences. And I'm here for another Wildlife Wednesday with Shaguanas Public Library to tell you all about another species of freshwater fish from Trinidad and Tobago. And the species I want to talk to you about this week is special for a few reasons. Um, firstly, I have a very unique fact to tell you about it later, but also it's one of the largest species we find in our rivers. And it is a catfish, and specifically it's the river catfish, or otherwise known as the silver catfish, South American catfish, or its scientific name is Ramdia kellen. And I'll show you a photo of it here. So I know this fish is Ramdia, so that's what I'll call it um, during this video. So Ramdia can reach about half a metre long, and it's um, obviously a catfish because it has these whiskers at the front, or barbels. And we talked about barbels being on catfish when we met the tater and the jumbie tater a few weeks ago but you'll notice straight away there's quite an obvious difference between the taters and this catfish ramdia which is that ramdia doesn't have any of that armor and doesn't even actually have any scales it's got a very soft smooth body and um, no kind of um, hard protection on its body at all but what you can't see so obviously here um, is that it actually does have some spines in its pectoral and dorsal fins that have some venom in them. So that means that um, although they're not particularly harmful to humans, if something tried to eat it, they would have quite an uncomfortable time and they would probably spit it out. And it would definitely be a deterrent for many predators for even trying to eat the species. So they have some protection. Now, if you wanted to actually see ram deer for yourself, then I recommend that you go down to a bridge um, or um, a fallen tree trunk um, on, at your nearest stream or river, because they love those shadowy dark areas, especially in the daytime. And then at night time, they would venture out from those darker areas to forage. So that would be another good way to see them with a torch at night. And at night, um, even in the dark, they're able to forage for fish and, and little shrimps and insects by using their barbels to sense for food. And they actually also eat plants as well. Now they're preference for those dark shady areas has actually gone to the absolute extreme in Trinidad and even though you find this species um, across South and Central America in Trinidad we find it inside the Kumaka caves. Now a few decades ago scientists were amazed to discover this because they went right inside the cave and the Kumaka cave is near Valencia in the northern range and it has a river that flows all the way through the cave. Yet this catfish is found deep inside the cave in this river, seeming to be quite happy to live in that very extreme environment where there's no light at all. And if there's no light, it means there's no plants. So it's a very different habitat to the river. And when they look more closely at the fish inside the cave, they actually notice that they're quite different, the, the individual fish in the cave, when you compare them to the fish in the river. These catfish had barbels, but they were smaller. They had much less colour on them. They were kind of transparent instead of coloured. And their eyes were really small, as if they'd been reduced over time. So they actually, at that point, gave the catfish in the cave a different species name and decided they were so different, they were a different species. Since then, we've changed our minds and, and scientists have decided that actually it's probably just a special population of ramdia that's in the cave. And sometimes it's likely that ramdia from the river reinvade the cave and kind of mix up the population and, and sort of re reset the adaptation. So they have to become adapted yet again and become more cave adapted um, over a few generations. So... Um, it's a really interesting population that we really don't know that much about. So it would be fascinating to work out more about how often the river fish invade the cave and how quickly um, they change to be cave adapted and how they manage to survive so well inside these caves. So that brings me to my final point, which is that, um, yes, we sometimes eat these fish because they're large and that, you know, people might fish for them and, and extract um, ram deer from our streams, but a much bigger threat to species like ram deer, and indeed to most of our species, is the fact that the northern range has a big quarrying problem. And 
This is impacting the quality of the rivers. It changes how muddy um, the rivers are because it makes more sediment in the river, um, which can really change the habitat for our fish. So if we want to keep on making exciting discoveries about fish in our rivers, such as this amazing cave population of Ramdia, then we really need to make sure we conserve the rivers and the habitats in the Northern Range and throughout Trinidad and Tobago so that for future generations can also enjoy making these exciting discoveries for themselves.